So guys, do you know what is MFA fatigue? And do you even know how it can be mischievous for your organization? So let's wait and let's see, let's hear what is MFA fatigue actually and how it can be resembled for your own cloud infrastructure. Come with me. Come, come. We have uh, Splunk here. We have Splunk running and wherever we have all of the logs and everything is set up. So let's see quickly how we can hunt for the um, MF fatigue attack, right? So first thing first, what we will do, we will go for the index equal to Okta because we need to look for the events which are in Okta event because there are the most of the logs and things are happening. Now event type, okay? So Okta has different type of event sets and all of the things are flowing around, but we are looking for authentication events. Okay, so we will look for user then authentication. Okay, so users, okay, I'll, I'll not select anything or one of it. So I'll go ahead and select authentication. Authentication dot auth dot, sorry, it's auth via mfa okay if that makes sense and then i'll look for all the time so now if you see that the, all of the logs are coming from right but i i don't really want to um i don't really want to know like what all the authentication via mfa but if you know mfa fatigue means until unless you or the user become really paranoid and press the yes button right so whenever the mfa triggers mfa push events are coming from so what we will do we'll do a stats over here real quick on count and then we will put on eval right so i'm not going to explain much about the uh, spl that i am writing from but if you are already using splunk you should be knowing about these things already but if not so we are going to cover that in our upcoming classes okay so now what we will do as um, success count okay we'll do as success count and count so let's let's do same thing let's copy this same thing together and let's do it but this time we are gonna do with failure okay okay so we are merging both of them together and we will make here as failure count okay and then we will go ahead and group it by actor okay and if i hit run you will see that all of the events which are coming by with status count success and even so now if you see these all the users who haven't actually pulled the trigger that means they haven't done the success event okay so they are all failure events but they have received this much of mfa counts okay so now where we actually identify which is the user that probably got compromised and we need to look for in our more cloud specific use cases so what we will do where this success count equals or greater than zero and failure count is obviously greater than zero yep and if you see i have i have just used the same query just tune i mean just changed a little bit and now here if you notice that we have two users over here on the same device and one is say king who has done the successful after this much of failure attempts okay so now if you want to know that how or where these users has or what are the other activities that user have because whenever the mfa is triggered from okta because our use case is through aws so obviously there would be an event that would be coming up in aws as well okay so let me copy this screen over here real quick and i'm going through one big event big spl search i'm not going to explain it but in a nutshell what i am looking for i'm looking for where user identity and mfa authentication is true success and failure both so that i can show you guys the users right who were the successful event user m davis and say king both of these users right so he, these two users are have the successful event so both of these users have done this event successfully right and if you notice zeking has done this attempt that means assume role with saml it is success and mdevis assume role with saml is failure but the next event is success so that means the attacker who was trying to do the mfa fatigue event is actually successful over here right so 
this is the MFA event, MFA fatigue event that we are concerned all about. So I hope you understood the concept really well. If not, don't worry. Join our Attack Defense Cloud Bootcamp that is happening four week long, which is literally a workshop. And we are going to explain a hell lot of scenarios just like this. So register now. Don't wait for the last minute rush.